So this video is the process that I went through trying to figure out how to get my uh, my Duramax generator to start and stop automatically using my Servo GX. I kind of work through the whole process and learn as I go, and it's kind of all included in the video, um, rather than me editing it all out. Um, if you watch it, you'll be able to figure out how to make it work, um, and I will put in some, um, some charts showing you how I ended up wiring it when I finally figured it out. So, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. All right, good afternoon. Today is January 9th, 2024. And I am working on an auto start for my generator using the Servo GX. Going through my generator is a Duramax XP 9000 IH and it has an auto transfer plug. And so what I've done, if you can see this, this is the female and, and I need to wire this to fit into that plug now what i've researched online is that plug wire number one is the positive wire going to a battery number three is a negative wire number two is an ignition coil number four is an auto start and then the other ones they don't really have anything to do with anything from what i can tell None of this comes from the manufacturer because they don't even make this yet. So this is like me trying to figure this out. So what I'm going to do, I went and bought some thermostat wire. Okay, I got 50 feet of that. And I chose that because if you look, this stuff is tiny. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solder each wire to where it goes. And then it has this nice little... Uh, cover that's going to go over it okay so be like so and then that'll plug into the generator and then my plan is i'll hook the positive wire to a 12 volt battery and then i am going to take the starter wire and touch it to the positive wire to see if it will actually trigger the generator to start if that works then i know that it, that is my trigger wire um i'm probably going to have to wire in some type of relay going from the servo because the servo has a normally closed a common and a normally open and so if it sends the signal to start it it's going to keep sending that signal it won't know to release it once it's started so i uh, talked to a guy down in florida that makes a little uh, box that's ready to wire and uh, we're going to try to figure out how to get that to work but i got to figure out what makes my generator start so the first step is to wire this plug into the generator uh, ats switch and uh, just uh, for those who are interested it is uh, i don't know if you can see that but it's an aviation so it's a uh, gx20 waterproof male female and when this comes you can't really tell that that screws off for the female part so it looks like you just got a male plug but if you work with it you can actually get it apart so that's the plug gx20 that is supposedly i haven't tried it because my generator is at my other house it's it's supposedly fits right into that plug and then that should work so um yeah so we're going to start from there and see what we can do to get this to work okay okay that looks good you can see it and each one soldered in so I wrote down how I'm configuring it. Pin one is the red wire, which will go to the battery positive. Pin two is ignition coil wire, uh, which is the white wire. Pin three is a negative wire, which goes to the negative on the battery. And then pin four is a blue wire, which is possibly a start stop wire. So that's how I have it done. Um, 
go ahead and turn that back on there. Okay. And then it's got some tiny little screws to tighten right here. And then that makes my wire going into the generator. Now, ideally, on the servo, we have a NO, which is normally open. The NC is normally closed, and we have a common. So the common, I am, I'm thinking, will go to... And then the normally open, normally close are the two wires that I have to probably run through the relay switch. Um, that will, uh, the relay switch, I believe the way it works is, um, and I'll post all this when I do the video so you'll see it. So you got three wires coming in from the servo and those will wire into the switch the way they're supposed to. And then in the switch or the transfer relay, you're going to have a positive and negative a normally open and a normally closed link so or wire so those will actually go um, to the generator from there so what I have to figure out is what will start it and then what will stop it and then how to wire those into the relay all right so when you get this from Amazon this is what it looks like and it looks like you got the wrong thing but if you just pull it here's your female right here and this is what you need to plug into the generator and if you look on the very end, I don't know if you can see it, it tells you pin one, pin two, pin three works itself around. So you know exactly uh, which pin that you're dealing with. And then on this end over here, this is where you got to solder your wires in. You can see that. So that's where you do all your soldering. Okay. I put a meter on the plug on the generator and I was actually drawing a current when I touched pin one and three together, there was a 13 volt current coming out of there. So then it occurred to me that maybe I don't need to hook the other end of my wires to a battery. And so right now it's just connected directly to the generator. And when I touch, when I touch the negative and The, and the negative is pin three, and when I connect pin three and pin two together, it'll start and stop. So those are my two wires. I suspect that I can just run these into my servo, uh, green being the common and uh, white being the normally open, and then set my parameters on my uh, servo, and it'll automatically start the generator. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And uh, I don't have any doubt why it wouldn't work. So everything looks good. So again, I just touch these two wires. Starts right up, touch them again. Turns right off. So I think I'm in business. So all we have to do, only thing I have to do is uh, drill a hole and get the wire inside to the servo. And I think that's it, that's it. So um, the other thing that I wanna do as well is uh, this generator will run on propane. So I have a tall propane tank that I wanna to hook to it. So that way I don't have to worry about the fuel running out as quickly. Um, and the generator, I'm only gonna set it to turn on at, you know, when the batteries are at 30% and maybe have it run until they're 60, 70%. So it'll only run maybe two or three hours when it does need to run. So hopefully all that will work out well. Inside, you're gonna take one of these and this is the side that plugs into the servo. Plug your wires into there. And so this is what it looks like here. I can't see my finger, yeah. So the green one is the common, which is the middle one. And then you want the NO, which is normally open. So it'd be right there. So that's this wire here is pin two on the generator. This is pin three on the generator. Well, you have to first go into the relay. Let me get here. 
So relay, so you want it to have the generator start stop to be on relay one, okay? And go back and then go into generator start stop. And then if you want to manually start it, just click that. And if you hear it, you just start it up. Okay, so hit it again and it'll turn it off. Okay, and then, so now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna set all the parameters. Um, I need to figure out if it'll send the same signal on the same wire to turn it on and off. Um, but once I get that figured out, so I'm going to play with these settings and then I'll come back. Okay. All right. So it came in a few days late because of the weather, but this is the relay. He's got it. It's actually really nice. I mean, he's got it in here. He's got it labeled what goes to what on here. So we have connect to system negative, connect to servo, relay one in C, which is normally closed. And then this one is plugged in. This one says generator start stop. And then this is a positive power. And then there's one more positive power down here. Uh, connect to servo relay number one, uh, COM, the common. So it's your common, normally closed, negative. Generator start, stop, and then to the positive, so that should work good. So I got all the way out here with the new relay and realized that I didn't have any wire really to wire it up with. So I found a piece of fused wire, red wire and I just spliced it and I put it in because I want to try to get this to work. So let me show you what I got going on and don't judge me because I'll fix it. These are all red, so the, the new relay He's got them labeled. It says connect to servo relay number NO. So I come down here, I follow it, and then you see the NO here. This one here, connect to NC. I follow this down, and I'm at NC. And then the middle one here is, I don't know if you can see it, is relay COM1. So that's the COM. So those are all wired in correctly. And then uh, the negative right here is this black wire. And I have it going to the negative on this brown wire that goes to the generator. The yellow wire is the generator start stop. And that is my white wire coming from the generator. What I'm doing is I took that red wire from my generator and I hooked it up and the lights did fire up. All right, so I set this to run for two minutes. It's down to one minute. So when that clicks to zero, We'll see if the generator will turn off automatically. And it does not. Okay. All right, good morning. So last night I got the relay hooked up and for the life of me, I could not get it to uh, turn off on a set runtime after doing a manual start. I called the guy that made it. We talked through things. Still couldn't figure it out. 
And so what I ended up doing is I ended up setting the auto start with a very low threshold of like 70% that it would turn on and turn off at 80% just to see if it would actually work or not overnight. And then when I got up this morning, uh, I checked my app and it actually did turn on about three in the morning and ran for that a lot of time until it charged back up. So my batteries were, um, I can't remember, maybe I ran it to 85%, but my batteries were at um, 83%, I think, when I woke up. And then on the app, you can actually see um, a green area that shows that the generator started and then it tells you that it... Uh, put in 7.1 kilowatts of power into the batteries. So it's working. Um, so I have figured out how to do the auto start with the Duramax using the ATS plug or switch, running two wires from pin two and pin three to the relay. And then the relay is wired into the servo using all three wires into the servo. And then you just set your parameters and it works. So anyway, I hope this video is helpful and um, and that uh, lots of people will be able to figure out how to get their generators to auto start. I don't mean, for us, it's a game changer because I was having to drive an hour and 15 minutes to my farm to start the generator on cloudy days and sit down there while it's running and turn it off again. And now I can, uh, I set it to 30% that it'll turn on and it'll turn off at 70%. And uh, I have the propane hooked to it so that it can run for long periods without me having to refill the gas tank. And so um, it's a win-win. So um, anyway, thanks for watching.